Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC how to bind data from database using view data with entity framework. And here we got the final output to get records from database using view data. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Applications and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Display Data Using View Back. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting MVC. OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. First, in this application, I'm adding ADWord.NET Entity Data Model. Right click the project name. Add ADWord.NET Entity Data Model. The model name is View Data. EMP click OK and from the model contents I'm selecting the first option EF designer from database next creating a new connection I'm adding SQL server name after adding SQL server name I'm selecting the database name sample DB test connection succeeded ok ok and here we got the connection string the connection string name is a sample db entities and I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file click next and from the selected sample db database objects I'm expanding the tables as well as dbo for this example I'm choosing the table employee finish And here the employee entity model is added into our project. After that, let's open Solution Explorer. Minimize the references folder. Now I'm creating a controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers, add controller. I'm selecting MVC file controller empty, add the controller name is employee, add. And here we got the employee controller. Now in this action result index method, the first I'm creating an object for my connection string. Sample DB entities is a connection string name. SD is an object new sample DB entities. After that, I'm adding view data between double quotes. EMP details is equals to sd dot employees dot to list method that's it we have binded the employee table details into this view data now I want to display this view data in the index view page before creating the index view page let's create let's build the solution build build solution and here we got a message build succeeded Let's close this output message box. Highlight the index, right click the one, add view. The view name is index only in the template. I'm selecting empty, the model class. I'm adding the entity model employee, the data context class, which is a sample DP entities, the database connection name. Click add. And here we got the index view page. Now in this view page, I'm adding center tag, h1 header, MVC, how to get records from database using view data.
entity framework horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding a table HTML element the border is 1 tr th the table headers the employee table contains four columns id name email and salary so id table header name table header email salary after that i want to fetch the rows from the employee table for that I'm using for each low at creating a variable employee list in here I'm adding view data as list class Here I'm adding employee class, the table name, tr, td, at emp list dot, the first column is id, td, at emp list dot, name, the third column is at emp list dot, email the last column for is a salary at emp list dot salary let's delete this h2 tag that's it we have done the complete coding part we are getting the records from the database using view data before run this application the most important we need to change the controller name in the route config file open solution explorer app underscore start expand that one route config dot cs notice here the controller name is home let's delete that one our controller name is the employee copy this one paste here and the action page is the index only which is this one index view page that's it Let's check the results Google Chrome and here we got the final output to get records from database using view data. That's it.